What the heck's going on, guys? Hadn't made a video the past week or so. I've been, I've been busy, man. Ah, we've been seeding fescue. It's been right at 100 degrees. <laughs> I know, and I've said it 10,000 times this summer: hot and dry. But we're we're getting close now. Um, this is going to be a new fescue yard that was somewhat of a centipede yard. Um, I came and sprayed it a couple few weeks ago and knocked out uh, everything that was living in it. So it's a fantastic property out here, but we're just gonna do the area around the house and he's got another centipede area on the side of the house that we worked on a little bit over the summer and made that passable to, uh, to stay. But it's kind of separated and we've got this area up here in front of the house I'll show you. But, uh, well, does it show up? Anyway, I sprayed, sprayed all that out. But we're, we're gonna put in about an acre of fescue today. Um, I've been doing a lot of different stuff. I should have made videos on it, but we'll have some uh, stuff to make videos about because we, uh, we did uh, a Mountain View Top Choice Fescue Seed Yard directly across the street from a, uh, a uh, Triple Threat Plus yard. So we'll get to see the difference. I'm gonna put the uh, Triple Threat Plus on this. And the Triple Threat Plus is uh, from, well, it comes from a place called Southern Seeds, but it's uh, Pure Seed Research Seeds is where the top choice is Mountain View. And it's got uh, three different uh, varieties of fescue along with 5% uh, Jumpstart Bluegrass. And the uh, Jumpstart is a, it's called Jumpstart because it germinates at the same rate as fescue will. So it'll, it should, come on out but um, you do something a little different with this one today usually I'll drag all the uh, dead stuff out of them and get down to bare dirt this has got kind of a canopy I'll show you but I show you the process what I'm doing I'm just gonna I'm gonna aerate the fire out of it and seed right into that organic matter that's already there because my soil test came back and the soil is pretty pure poor here and I would like to maintain that grass, that dead grass I got on top is a, is a buffer and some organic matter. Stay tuned. That's what I'm talking about when I say I still got, mainly crab grass is what it was, but. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take this up, but I'm gonna I'm gonna make a deep pass all along aerating and then make a lot of shallow passes. But this is what we're gonna be looking at today. And it goes all over there and around the back. Anyway. Alright. Alright, this is another reason why I'm not tine dragging this a sod web and this was sodded in centipede at one time but um not anymore but if you time drag that sodden it ooh, what a mess it's gonna be wrapped around my aerator anyway but all right
probably enough aeration footage, so I'll be doing it for the next hour or two. So, see what's next. Triple aerated to get ready for triple threat. But right now we're gonna put out egg start. Just can't get much better than egg start. It's gonna have everything you need to get your uh, seedlings going and get your seeds germinated. Egg start. What's important about egg start and the the formulation it is is you know, well the chicken manure and biochar that's in all the uh, carbon earth products is probably about as good as you're gonna get right now for uh, uh, a nitrogen source and the, the soil amending properties and, and holding power of the uh, biochar. But the chicken manure in it, chicken manure is just the greatest fertilizer ever for now. But I like it because the uh, lower nitrogen rate if I'm seeding into uh, existing lawn, which I'm not here, but if I'm seeding into existing lawn, I don't want to uh, give that uh, grass that's already there a big boost and make it uh, grow and compete hard and need mowing way before my seedlings are ready. Um, we'll come back and give it nitrogen later, but the uh, phosphorus is gonna be real important for the roots and this, the uh, seedlings. The chicken manure. Chicken manure has got it all, man. It's one of the best manure, it is the best manure source because you know, the chickens have got a known diet, so we know what we're getting there. It's got tons of amino acids, just just everything you need, man. Get some egg start. Anyway, all right, enough about egg start. That, well, no, I'm not done talking about it. There it is, in the hopper. Smells delicious, too. All right, time to swing some egg start. Got my starter out, aerated, and we'll put this down. Um, this is triple threat plus. The plus is because of the bluegrass in it, but there's your, your label. You got uh, Cumberland Salcito, which is a high salt tolerance tall fescue. That would be important in coastal areas. And, well, you're not gonna grow much fescue in coastal areas, but what it's gonna do is, if you got high uh, salt index in your dirt or your fertilizers or whatever you can be fine there. Rain dance is drought tolerant and uh, jump start Kentucky bluegrass, which is that uh, fast germinating uh, bluegrass seed. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I've tried the uh, putting the bluegrass in the fescue before about 10 years ago. This is nothing new. And to quote Ricky Bobby, it wasn't worth a velvet painting of a whale and a dolphin getting it on. And bluegrass didn't even come close to surviving the summer uh, like the fescue did. But I feel like now that we've learned more, and because I don't even know what variety that was, now that we've learned more and can pick out a better variety, we might have a better chance. Um, and plus, I saw this seed here. I, at, well, I saw it. I saw each individual cultivar out of this at the uh, Pure Seed Field Day. And then at uh, NC State Field Day, I saw this particular blend right here uh, growing the lawn, and it it blew my socks off, man. I loved it, so we're gonna give it a shot. So if any of you went to the NC State Field Day and uh, saw the uh, the grass, the fescue under the big oak tree where we all met before the field day, that was uh, that was sod grown by Vandy Mark. Uh, up in Enfield, North Carolina, which is not far at all from here, uh, from the uh, Triple Threat Plus C. So, they were able to make it happen, so why can't I? Probably oh, yeah, gonna make it happen like that, but that grass was beautiful.
Okay, I'm about to wrap up here. I'm gonna run over it one more time with the aerator now they got the seed and everything down just to uh, work it all into the ground good. But uh, the process was a little different here than what you usually see me do. I usually tie and rake all that stuff. I don't think the order is all that important, man. Just uh, get it in. I, I, I did also, after I got the seed down, sprayed uh, humic and kelp and tenacity over top of it. Now that, that order is kind of important. But anyway, get back at it. All right, I'm gonna wrap up here. But I've done, a, a, for this area, a whole lot of fescue overseeds this season and we're almost done with them. But I did different techniques on them. There's, there's really not a 100% right and wrong way. You, the major thing is you want seed to soil contact so you, you your most important thing is to get that seed on the actual ground or even in the ground if you can so that's the idea behind the tine dragon and all that when we do that um and you want to get your phosphorus from your starter fertilizer into the ground because phosphorus doesn't move very much in the soil so if you can get it deep where the roots will get it deeper that's better because deeper roots is better yo but anyway anyway that, that's it for this one, but I, I've done, I've, like I said, I've done some with doing them in different styles. I've done some uh, seeding it and aerating it and just putting the X start on it and not spraying humic or anything else on it. See what that does. I've done the two different brands of seed. We'll, we'll track them all and see what happens. I, I seriously doubt you're going to see a ton of difference in any of them. But anyway, that's it for today. I appreciate it, guys. Check you out next time.